welcome back. Today we're catering to the less jolly type. If that's you, or if macrame is your jam, I hope you consider subscribing. Be sure to take a screenshot of today's project details. Now let's get started. On a 12 inch wooden dowel, we're gonna be attaching all of our filler cords. To attach our cords, we're gonna be using a lark's head knot. So find the center of your cord by folding it in half, then place the loop of the cord behind your wooden dowel. Next, grabbing your long tail ends, we're gonna place that in through our loop that we created. I'm gonna go ahead and attach all the remainder of our 19 cords. Now, taking a look at our pattern, our first two rows are all white. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab our strand of working cord. Now, I don't give specific measurements for this, but I like to work with 120 inches at a time. So grabbing our cord, we're gonna place it behind our first set of lark's head knots. Making sure that our short tail end is on the left, we're gonna grab our right side and form a loop on the right, bring our cord around and then through the loop. Cinch up the slack and this is half of our vertical double half hitch. Now we're gonna repeat the same process by forming a loop on our right, wrap the tail end around and through the loop and this completes our first knot. So cinch up our slack and we're gonna push our knot all the way up to the top of our dowel. If I'm ever going too fast for you, feel free to adjust the speed of this video by tapping the three dots on the top right corner. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate the second knot for you. So make sure that your working cord is behind your next set of lark's head knots. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna form a loop on our right, wrap the tail end around and through the loop, cinch it up to the top, and then we're gonna repeat the same thing. So form a loop on your right, wrap your tail end around and through the loop. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete this first row and then I'm gonna show you what to do once we get to the end. Okay, so now that we made it to the very end, what we need to do now is go back in the opposite direction. So to do this, grab the same working cord, but this time pull your working cord to the left. Make a loop on your left, wrap your tail end around and through the loop. So essentially all we're doing is doing the exact same thing, but in reverse. And I'll have to admit, if you're new at this, it is a little tricky at first, but if you do this a few times, you'll totally get the hang of it. I find the best way to remember is that your cord and your loop will always be on the same side of the direction that you're working on. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this row, and then I'm gonna show you what to do when we need to switch out to a different color. Taking a look at our pattern again, I completed the first two rows, I did one white knot, and now I need to do the blue. And for this project, I'm using t-shirt yarn. I find t-shirt yarn is less expensive than single strand cotton, and it comes in so many different colors. I'll leave a link in the description box where I got mine. Okay, so to switch colors, I'm gonna leave my working cord that I was using, and I'm just gonna lay it flat. Then grabbing a strand of our blue cord, I'm gonna attach it just like I did at the very start of this project. So making sure that our short tail end is on the left, we're gonna form a loop on our right, pull our tail end around and through the loop, and then repeat. So this is in fact exactly the same way we attached our very first cord, and if we run out of length of our working cord, this is gonna be the same way that we attach a new strand. So push your knot all the way up to the top, and then carry on. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you what to do when we need to switch back to the white. Okay, so grabbing the same white cord that we were using previously, we're gonna switch back. And to do this, we're gonna run it underneath all of our filler cords. So grab our white cord and we're gonna place it in behind all of these filler cords. Make sure that it's also over top of your blue cord that you were using just before. And then we're gonna carry on just as if we never switched out in the first place. So grab your next set of filler cords, place your working cord behind, and then you're gonna form a loop on your right, wrap your cord around and through the loop. And just note, be careful not to pull too tight, otherwise it might warp your work. 
Okay, so I'm going to carry on and work through this pattern and then I'll show you what to do to finish it off. All right, now that we completed our pattern, it's time to clean up the mess on the back. So what I like to do to secure the ends is just tie a regular overhand knot with all of our loose ends. And just like I'm sure you've heard me say before, the more professional way to tidy up the back is to either add a backing or to weave in your ends. If you want a separate tutorial on this, let me know in the comments below. All right, so now that the back is all cleaned up, we're gonna flip it back over and we're gonna trim the bottom fringe. If you like this video, please let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also, I have an entire Christmas playlist. I'll leave the link to that on the screen now and I'll see you over there.